things we will write inside the controller. I, it, it is very simple that controller is nothing but it is a class. It is a C sharp dot net class or it is a VB dot net class. Similarly, model is also nothing but what? It is also a C sharp dot net class or a VB dot net class. But this class we will call as POCO, plain old CLR object, right? Similarly, view is nothing but the user interface. In MVC, we can declare the user interface in the form of CSHTML. In the form of what? CSHTML. That is C sharp with what? HTML. In ASP.NET, we declared only what? Dot ASPX. But in MVC, we declared CSHTML. C sharp code is integrated with what? HTML code. C sharp code is integrated with what? HTML code in our MVC. Is it clear? Now here you can see how the code is traveling in MVC. Okay. So whenever the user is typing the request in the URL, controller will respond for the user request. Step number one. Who will respond for the user request? Controller will respond for the user request. And the controller will forward that request to what? Model. Controller will forward the request to the model. Now model will interact with what? Database. Model will interact with database and get the data from the controller and get the data from the database, sorry. And get the data from the database and model will invoke to the controller. Step one is controller will respond to the user request. Step two, model controller will forward the request to model. Step number three, model will communicate with what? Database. Is it clear? For example, I am having one login page here. Enter user name. And here I am having one text box. And here I am having enter password. I am having one more text box. And here I am having one sign in button. Did you got it? Now whenever you are writing here, I am giving anil. And here also I am giving anil. Here I am click on sign in button. Whenever you click on sign in button, the controller will respond to whom? The user request. Request means when you click on button, that is what? Request. When you select item in the drop down list, that is also called what? A request. Did you got it? Whenever you are giving the username and password and click on sign in button, then the controller will respond to the user request and forward the request to the model. In model, what code is there? The database related code is there. If the login user is valid, do something else, do something. If Anil is valid user, you have to write some database code here. If the login is, user is valid, it has to redirect to which page? Inbox page dot CSHTML. Else, it has to redirect to which page? Login dot CSHTML. What I am telling here is, whenever the user is given the request, controller will respond to the user request and forward the request to what? Model. Now model will interact with what? Database and return either true or what? False. If the login user is valid, it will return true. Else it will return what? False. Right? And model will not directly communicate with what? View. Model will again respond for the control request and forward to what? Database and get the data and again respond to what? Controller. Model will tell the login user is successful. So go ahead and invoke which base? Inbox space. Else it will tell the login user is not successful. Go and invoke which view? Huh? Login view. Did you got it? So what I am telling here is the model will again interact with what? Controller. Controller will invoke what? View. Actually here we are having two views. One is login.cshtml. Other one is inbox.cshtml. Did you got it? Right. Controller will invoke to the view. That is step number five. Now view will interact with what model to get the data and display in the browser. This is the control flow in MVC. Again I am explaining, listen clearly. Whenever the user is given the request, controller will respond to the user request and forward the request to what model. Right? So in this model it will execute. You have to write the adv.net code or here you have to write what? the link code or you have to write the adv.net edit framework code the entire database related code whatever you want to write you have to write inside your particular model you have to write inside where? model 
Is it clear? Now, whenever the user is giving the request, controller will respond to the user request and forward the request to what model. Model will communicate with the database and it will execute this code. In this code only, it will communicate with what database. If the login user is valid, it will return true. Else, it will return what false. This model will return either true or false to whom? Controller. Then controller will invoke. If it is true, controller will invoke inbox.cshtml telling that your response is ready, go and bring. So this controller will go to a model and get back the response and display on the browser. So this is what the control flow. If you are if you are writing the program in this manner, that is called what? MVC. MVC is very simple, as simple as that. Here no ASP phrases are there. It was replaced with CSHTML. The, by using MVC, the main advantage is loose recoupling, as I told. What is the meaning of loose recoupling? There is no dependencies are there. Model is not depending on what view. View is not depending on what model. In future, if you try to change the model, no need to change what the view. The dependence, the degree of dependency we are trying to what? Decreasing. That is called what? Loosely coupling. So MVC, by using MVC, we are achieving loosely coupling. In future, if you want to add some extra database code, without disturbing the view, you can add what? The code inside the model. And if you want to send the code for testing, only you can send that part for what? Unit testing. So instead of testing the entire website, every time you can uh, test the portion of the pages or portion of the code each and every time so that your work will be done easily. And simultaneously more developers can work. Some, de one, some developers can work on controllers, some on views, some on what? Models. So application development will be what? Fast. As the powerful URL is there, we can easily uh, transfer our particular website to SEO. Search engine optimization technique. And in depth, again, if you want more queries like anything, you can log into www.facebook.com slash worldof.net. Just www.facebook.com slash group slash worldof.net. You can just log in and you can add, join in my particular group. And if you have any queries, you can ask. Is it clear? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Bye.